dear students welcome to your science class i hope you all are fine and enjoying good health in the previous session we have discussed about flowers flower beautiful part of a plant now today we will discuss a new chapter that is seeds and new plants in this chapter we are going to learn about different types of seeds germination how does seed grow into a new plant now let's go through the key terms of this chapter our first term is s e e d seed part of a plant that grows into a new plant see here are some seeds S E E D seed C O A T coat seed coat the covering of a seed now see here you can see a seed coat and a seed a next term is G E R M I N A T I O N germination the process by which a seed grows into a new plant now here you can see seed is growing into a new plant c e r e a l s cereals seeds of plant like rice and wheat now see rice and wheat they are cereals p u l s c -E s pulses seeds of plant like grams and kidney beans see grams and kidney beans are there now let's go through the difficult words of this chapter s o a k soak soak means dip s p l i t split split means break into two parts now children open your enjoying science book page number 10 let's read flowers change into fruit children some flowers do not change into fruit like rose and lily flower flowers change into fruit see these are flowers they are changing into fruit raw apples and ripe apples now fruits have seeds inside them some have many seeds and some have only one now children all fruits have seeds inside them some fruits have many seeds some have one seed some have few seeds tick the ones which have only one seed now you have to tick the one which has only one seed mango only one seed so tick mango plum only one seed so tick plum papaya many seeds so we will not tick papaya cherry one seed tick cherry now jamun another name of jamun is blackberry it also has one seed so tick jamun next is orange it has few seeds watermelon it has many seeds these are also seeds we like to eat them rice and corns children these are cereals and we like to eat them peanuts and almond peanuts and almonds are dry fruits gram and pea now gram and pea are pulses and we also like to eat them now come to page number 11 a seed has a baby plant inside it if a seed gets air water and sunlight 
the baby plant grows it becomes a new plant children if a seed gets good soil water air and sunlight then it will grow into a new plant now see seeds are in the soil and slowly and gradually they are growing into a new plant now see seed is growing into a new plant with the help of air water and sunlight this process is called germination see now students there is an activity for you we have to soak a gram or bean seed in water at night now see soaked beans and soaked grams in the morning take the seeds out remove the seed coat now as we have soaked the seeds at night now in the morning the hard covering of the seed becomes soft now we can remove it easily see see coat and seed split the two parts and see the baby plant inside now split means to break into two parts so see parts of a seed now here we can see a seed coat and baby plant now let's discuss some important questions related to this chapter name any two fruits with few seeds answer apple orange name some fruits with many seeds answer watermelon muskmelon papaya etc how does a seed grow into a new plant answer a seed grows into a new plant by germination what does a seed need to grow into a new plant a seed needs air water and sunlight to grow into a new plant now you know that flowers change into fruits fruits have seeds inside them a seed has a baby plant inside it when the seed gets air water and sunlight it grows into a new plant now children this is all for today read lesson seeds and new plants plus learn terms of this chapter and try the activity we have discussed we will meet in the next session till that bye bye have a nice day